Well, hello, it's Robert from Igneous Rock Gallery. The last time I posted a YouTube video is when we had recently received the new shipment from the quarry. And we had just washed it and brought it inside and I gave you a quick look at the new stuff. Well, now we've had a chance to play with it and create quite a few groupings, sold quite a few. And this is one that I'm especially pleased with. I drew attention to the column on the left in the last video. It's got quite a sweep to it, quite a lot of motion, and it needed something that also had motion to pair it up with. And I found that in the, it's opposite on the right, flanking the tallest middle piece there. That piece has quite a bit of twist in it and turns back in toward the top. The tallest one is very straight in terms of its axis, but the fact that it's narrow at the base and then widens out with the lines of the two pieces on either side and then slenders out at the top uh, creates a whole lot of interest and I love this grouping. This grouping stands alone as three. It could be the center focal grouping in a series of three groupings with space around this so that it, it has its own moment, if you will, but uh, it, I think it's very strong just as it is. I'm going to get a little closer, show you some of the texture and color and so forth in this. The light you see here is what's coming in through the glass door of the workshop. The overhead lights are turned off and then in addition we have the LED lights that we've uh, enjoyed so much, the new lights we got this year. A whole lot of coloration in this. A whole lot of what we call motion, you know, the, the, the sweeping lines. This goes to darkness on this side here, but see how those lines parallel one another? Now I'm going to try to squeeze around the back here a little bit and show you the back, which is just as interesting. This will hold interest from 360 degrees. This surface here is, comes down here, it's a little rough. I'll polish that. That'll show, that'll create some real nice detail in what is the sweet spot, if you will, the, this side of it, the widest part, and about two thirds of the way up. That'll be polished. And when that's polished, it'll allow the water to flow without getting airborne. And it'll also look like an intentional aesthetic detailing. See how this piece comes way out and then sweeps back in. So that's a really good grouping I'm real pleased with. Now next to it here is, I'll have to borrow this light, um, here's a three column grouping that I made one day after I got a call from a woman in the Philadelphia area who's been following us for quite some time, although we never talked, uh, I don't think, until that phone conversation. And she, she's a landscape architect. She's got a very modern home. And it was interested in a tall, slender three-column grouping. And I made it the same day uh, that she called. I stayed late that night and made this. It was kind of inspired by the conversation and the, the potential. And uh, if you are she, you promised me a, a picture. And I didn't, never got an email from you, and I know you're busy, but I want you to know that uh, this has your name on it, um, unless I just have to sell it before then. And if you reach out to me again, I'd appreciate it, because I just, when I'm working and multitasking, I, I think I'm going to remember a name, and then an hour and a half later, I just can't, I can't remember it. And we've got uh, quite a few on the mailing list, so I, I couldn't uh, figure out who you were. All right. Here's a little grouping. Some of these columns have, are split, are not split, but they're joined. They're two pieces that are still together and they break off at different elevations. And we've got quite a few of those this time around. So I'm creating a feature here, making use of those pieces. So the taller of each of these is drilled and the smaller is not. And that's, that's kind of an interesting thing to play with. Here's a grouping that is sold. Uh, talked with this guy for a while in the
computer and finally we discovered that we're neighbors. I could stand out in my front porch and scream his name and if he were on his back porch across the road down the way a little bit he'd, he'd hear me probably. Okay, here's a grouping that I created for a, a person who I've known for quite some time and her interest and our fountains uh, began about this time last year when my daughter Chelsea Richardson was married. I talked with her uh, that day when the tornado came through and wreaked havoc on uh, the house, and the property there where Chelsea's mom lives. So anyway, this grouping she ended up deciding against in favor of another one across the room which she purchased, which means this one's available and that's a cool grouping. Okay, that's all I'm going to show this time. There's there's more here, and um, be happy to have have you come in, or if you have questions or interest in a certain scale uh, fountain grouping, call me. I can do the same thing here. I can set up the black fabric and put the lights on and shoot a video, or better yet, just come on into Igneous Rock Gallery. All right, over and out.